Angle. I don't know if angling will help, but we're gonna find out. 255. Down. Ooh, look at that. That's an ammo rack, I think. That's a pure dis that's a absolute destruction of that tank. Okay, that was a hit on the T-80. Doesn't look like we really did anything to it, though. Just kind of tickled it, I guess. Okay, there's infantry in front of my Abrams. I almost said Sherman. <laughs> okay, he missed. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, let's mow down the infantry here. We got to get some of our terrain back now, though. So let's push our infantry up here on the right. All right, howdy, boyos. Welcome back to more Men of War Assault Squad 2. Now today, we are playing some Valor with the Valor Cold War mod. I figured we could check this out. Um, I did some historical ones, some, uh, I did actually, I guess, some ones from 1941 and 1940, the German invasion of France. I did the Germans and the Italians fighting the British in North Africa in 1941. And I figured we could just totally do a different scenario where we're using the Valor mod, which I used before, but also the Valor Cold War mod, which is a separate download, and I'll link both of those in the description below. Today, we're doing a little America versus Soviet Union battle, which takes place, it kind of as the mod, I suppose, says, during the Cold War. And uh, this mod builds upon Valor, so you got all the effects, all of the changes, but it uses uh, Cold War stuff, so we got, um, you know, guys with Lin Camo using M16s against guys with, uh, I don't even know what the Soviets would really have here. Like, what would that camo be called? Maybe VSR camo? Um, but anyway, it's like a mid-80s, early to late 80s uh, Cold War scenario. You got lots of different Our nations, the U.S., Soviet Union, Germany, 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 France, Israel, North Korea, China, Great Britain, France. I believe that's all of them or most of them. Um, but I figured we could play some of this, and uh, hopefully it is enjoyable to watch. And if it's not, well, you know, <laughs> that's, that's not what I'm trying to get at, obviously. But uh, I figured we could kind of just do a little bit of a different thing from what I've been doing, uh, which was those, uh, you know, sort of more historical or his like, realistic scenarios that actually happened. And obviously here, um, you know, you guys can now request uh, some other scenarios because in the last video, I actually did ask for people to like, hey, you know, suggest me um, a certain idea, like, uh, I don't know, with the factions that are in Valor, which was quite a few, suggest me an idea or two. And uh, maybe we'll do something, uh, you know, I'll pick some of your suggestions, which I did uh, from the German video. I actually made the uh, Italian, Ger Ger Italian, German, and British 1941 video. But I didn't really see a lot of, I guess, the word request may be uh, the wrong one, but suggestions. And I figured, you know what, screw it, we're just going to mess around and kind of make our own thing happen. So right now we have some paratroopers, which are by the way wearing, looks like, three-collar desert for some reason, uh, three-collar desert camo in the winter, but they are here. Do I have any M60s or did my M60 guy? Don't tell me, no. Wait, where, do I not have any machine gunner here? It says I have one. Wait, where is he? Oh, here we go, M249. Okay, good, we'll put him in here. And uh, we're just gonna watch the carnage unfold. I'm hoping to get myself an Abrams early on and try and push back some of the Soviet vehicles. Looks like we have a SU-122. No, that's an ASU. We have BRDMs over here. We have another BRDM. I think there was one over here. This kind of, um, I guess, maybe uses models from War Game Red Dragon. Uh, but it also takes means that it kind of takes place in that same time period. So, like I said, it's a early to late 80s, uh, and we are almost capable of getting Abrams. There's also helicopters in here. I'm not going to get it right now because they're kind of hard to control, and they're not really worth buying, especially not for that money. Uh, but I want to get the Abrams and go from there. We do have a BMP-3 over here with the 100mm main gun. I think it's got a 30mm chain gun uh, next to that. And then I think it also has grenade launchers on it, if I'm not mistaken. Got BRDMs pushing up. We almost got our Abrams uh, unlocked, which would be nice. And then hopefully we can uh, lock down this middle area here. Oh wait, did I just? Did I see that? Did I just see a tank sink into the ice? Oh no, no, never mind. It's not sinking. Well, not yet. It looks like it could be, <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll take our Abrams out and uh, go deliver some freedom. Now there's a bunch of mods like this. Um, personally, I like the Valor one 
because it builds upon Valor to think is a good mod. But obviously, there is a ton of other Cold War or just modern mods in general for Assault Squad 2. So if you want to see any other ones or you have any suggestions, like I said, for either a historical scenario like the World War... Uh, okay, tree. Either the World War II ones that I've been playing or you want to see some more Cold War stuff, just let me know in the comment section. So I guess we're going to try... Okay, I don't want to kill the Sheridan next to me here. Wait, did I just miss that BRDM? Alright, we'll try again. Abrams, rotate the gun, and fire. Nope, now we hit the freaking rock over here. I'm actually a little afraid of that BMP. So I think he can potentially load ATGMs in his barrel, which would be kind of bad for me to, if he did that. Because I'm not really sure how resilient his Abrams is. Okay, that was a hit, but I don't think we did anything to him. It sounded like a hit. Fire again. Okay, ooh, there you go. Perfect. That's an annihilation of that one. Okay, let's see if we could aim for the... Oh, there's an anti-aircraft moving up. Potentially a ZU or a Shilka. Oh, this Abrams is really fat. What is it? Oh, it is a Shilka. Okay. Let's roll over to the flank here. I want to knock out that BRDM. Okay, good. Now the Shilka. Just like a twin or quadruple 23 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. Oh, I think we just shot right underneath it. All right, reload. I need to call in some more infantry here in any second. Okay, that one's down. All right, infantry. Let's get some regular infantry to cover this left flank. The flank of my Abrams. There's infantry like right in front of us here. I never mind, we knocked him out. We got to get my regular infantry to push up. Kind of surprised how weak some of my AIs are. They're not really... Ooh, that was an instant. Okay, we got to knock out some of this infantry here. We're going to be in trouble. Loading HE. Trying to spray him down with the coaxial. I know we have a 50 cal on top here, but... Okay, go prone, go prone. We're too much fire. Do we have smokes on board? No, we do not. Okay, that's some decent fire. Let's spread them out a little bit amongst these foxholes and trenches. We'll send one guy to go cap the point back. Looks like our Abrams has just become a sort of stationary weapon here. We could get this M240 stationary weapon. We'll deploy it behind this point, and then we could use the infantry to be a little bit more aggressive after we capture it. Though we do, we'll have to try and capture this middle point eventually. Looks like we have a tow M113. Oh look, it's actually sitting on the roof. That's awesome. Okay, we have a tow M113 coming out. That's good. Yes, sir. Let's see if we can spread these guys yes, out just a little bit. We're being like flanked from the hill. Our Abrams is good. Okay, let's uh, hmm, mechanize Delta Force paratroopers. Let's get some assault infantry. I'm assuming they may just have no machine gun, but maybe more grenades. Oh, that's not good. This T-80 just took my Abrams out from across the map. All right, let's see if we can deploy and deploy some camo. There's no cover to be deployed, but that's all right. And also let's deploy a sandbag in here for some extra cover. So I was hoping to use our Abrams for cover there, but they have a T-72, a T-80, uh, we have, uh, what is this coming out? V-150? What are you buying a V-150 for? That seems a very not useful at this current moment. Because we need to cap a point in the middle. Apache, heavy artillery, don't have access to that just yet. Abrams, AT Gym, oh there goes the 113 with the toe on top of it. Alright, let's see if we can position ourselves towards the middle here. Because we gotta go and try and capture that middle point. More tanks. What's that, a T-55? So we got three tanks, 70, T-72, a T-55, and a T-80 right now. Um, yeah, I'm not really confident that we can really get anything out onto the field right now. Oh, the assault squad comes with shotguns. Okay. Delta Force looks like they're pushing up with us. These shotgunners are not very useful, I'm just going to assume. Although we have just now secured... Go! Oh. Okay, we're going to try and get to this middle back. And they're heavy fire, though. Okay, there we go. K-47 
Can we get it? Abrams? We can get, but I'm going to hold off on that for right now. Oh, they just knocked out the V1 fish. It's not really a surprise to anyone, I don't think, because that is clearly a uh, sort of a useless buy with the amount of tanks enemy has currently. Put you behind these sandbags here. wonder what the rocket range is on a AT4. I don't know if we can get close enough to this. What is that, a T-72? Yeah. Hopefully we can get close enough to it, but I severely doubt it. Just trying to get on this ridge here. If we can, if we could get close enough, that would be an amazing strike. We're just gonna flanking. Oh no, the BTR-80 with the 14.5 kpvt just knocked us out. Ugh, oh, okay. Well, they have a lot of armor. I wonder... More V-150s, tons of infantry coming out. Looks like I'm going to have to be the one that saves up for the top tier Abrams, maybe. Or we could go for the medium tier Abrams right now. Maybe control it better, like keep a better eye on it. I'm losing the far right flank here too. Let's get some National Guard. They're not going to be very well trained, but it's just about getting bodies in the field at this point. Alright, and let's start hopefully knocking out some of these enemy tanks. Okay, that's not good. T-72, what's that, in the back, like a Gavodzika, like an artillery piece? Oh, it's a Norov, oh, that just destroyed my entire squad of infantry. Do you see that in the kill feed? Okay, that's not good. Abrams, aim, no, oh, we're behind the rock now, okay. Well, it actually allows us to take out this Norov, the BTR, but I'm really annoyed that that Norov just immediately knocked out my entire freaking National Guard squad. Okay, it fires really fast. Reload. Okay, perfect. One. We'll knock out the BTR next if we can. And then we could at least clear the field of some enemy armor and vehicles. No, that's a miss. Yeah, I gotta be careful here. There's three tanks. T-55 is pushing up as well. Pushing up slowly. Okay, here we go. Perfect. T-72 is down. Okay. You gotta get some infantry to help me over here. Okay, I don't think assault infantry is very good just because the shotguns are kind of a meme, I feel like. Okay, that's bad. We just hit the freaking tank trap. Okay, I'm gonna angle a little bit here. I really wanna knock out that enemy BTR, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually get eyes on it. Nope. There's the T80s pushing us now. Angle. I don't know if angling will help, but we're gonna find out. T55 down. Ooh, look at that. That's an ammo rack, I think. That's a pure, that's a absolute destruction of that tank. Okay, that was a hit on the T-80. Doesn't look like we really did anything to it, though. We're just gonna tickle it, I guess. Okay, there's infantry in front of my Abrams. I almost said Sherman. <laughs> okay, he missed. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, let's mow down the infantry here. We gotta get some of our terrain back now, though. So let's push our infantry up here on the right. Looks like the infantry that's falling down this ridge might be the ones that uh, captured the flag. Up on the ridge to our right. Okay, let's... What's that? Oh, that's the ASU, I think. That one was a hit. Didn't really care. There's a B and P3 back there again. I'm really afraid of it actually loading an AT gym. I think it can. Okay, you don't have to worry about that one anymore, I don't think. That one might be gone. Right, that's it. Let's, move out. Let's crawl up Come here. Yes, Slowly. Okay, Try and get eyes it. on the Let's point. BTR. What the hell is that? That looks awesome. It's got, like, those weird side fins on it. I knock out this BTR somehow. Did I just get... Knocked it on my Abrams. It's like, it's getting stunned by the tank behind there. With the weird Finn T-72. That's a tank trap. Alright, can I knock this one out from all the way back here? Crazy ranges, by the way. Nope, that's not it. I gotta knock out that BTR, but I also gotta knock out that T-72. And whoever's gonna shoot each other first kinda wins. There we go, that's a perfect hit. I think that we knocked out all the crew in there. Knock out the BTR. 
Okay, that's a delayed ammo rocket explosion. I think we have an M8, so that's the airborne tank. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. 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 Okay, which for some reason we loaded APDFS. Oh, we knocked the turret clean off. Okay, what's that in the background there? T55. Okay, don't have time to reload regular AP. Currently tracked. That's not good at all. Reload or repair. Oh, no. We just got bmp Yep, that's what I saw coming. We just got bmp 3 I mean, that was a heroic push by that Abrams, but it was never meant to be. Let's see, we can build some sandbags up on this ridge at least to try and hold the line. But I'm not feeling very confident that our team is able, ab able <laughs> capable of pushing in back into the middle. We can't get another Abrams here soon. I still don't know if it's worth getting. Because even the Abrams, I mean, it got, then again, it was a full flank shot in, in its defense, but... Uh, crew... Yes. Put tank crew on this machine gun, it's better than nothing. Get some National Guard. They're going to have to push up and be the guys who capture stuff. Abrams, we could potentially save up for the final one, but I'm not sure how effective that one's going to be for us. Okay, build some sandbags up on this ridge. To cover the flag better. Okay. This is not going too bad. I don't know if we can run a single guy across the street here to try and capture a flag or stop them from getting points because we are losing this very, very hard. Okay, Abrams, we have almost enough. Although I feel like it might not be worth doing that. Uh, let's get the one we already had. Get him out here. Okay, there's an entire squad of enemies coming this way. Put the guys on the sandbags. Okay. Find the enemy. That one's just got knocked out by something. That one's knocked out. Okay. BMP. Reload, 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 reload. Can't see it, can't see it. There we go, we can see it now. I can't shoot it. Oh, there's a freaking wreck in my way. Get out of here. Perfect. Okay, now we gotta send our National Guard boyos in to try and capture the middle. Uh, we can't get any more units because we're currently at our max CP, it looks like, or near it anyway. On the right side, we're doing fine. I think we're doing alright. We're just gonna deal with enemy infantry that's coming in. High explosive, loaded, squad of infantry. We don't even have to load it. Oh, we can actually just keep them under heavy fire at least with that. Oh, that really did nothing. Oh, my entire squad got mowed down there. My entire National Guard squad. Okay, push you up to the ridge here then. Gotta get you on the point, buddy. They might have run through a lot of their manpower. Oh, that was a very accurate shot. Okay, oh, what do you mean? Jammed. No, why would you bother repairing it? Or fixing it in the middle of the freaking field? What's that tank? Okay, it's a Norov again. Reload. Fire. That was a hit. We knocked out some of its crew. We got a friendly Abrams in here finally. Oh my god. That's what we needed to see up here, honestly. Okay, that was a miss. I think we just both bounced off of each other. I'm gonna not even play that game super... Oh, really thought that he just finished me off there. Okay, screw that. We're not... I'm not playing that game with this guy. I want to capture the middle point, though. What's that rocket that just came out? What was that? What? Wait, what? Was that the Patton or this Bradley with the ATGM? If it even had one. Oh, the friendly Abrams knocked out the Norov. That's perfect. What's this vehicle back here? A T-72BM? I don't think we can pin that. We're gonna not even try. I'm gonna hide from it for now. While well, my squad in the middle hopefully is able to capture... Okay, we're bouncing on him. Let's not even bother. Oh, he just bounced on me. Thank God. Okay. Let's pull it back. Right side, they decapped it. Or, well, my friendly, uh, brave friendlies decapped it by charging into it. We are holding the middle. or almost got it. That's what matters here. Looks like they got some reinforcements coming in, though. Oh, there goes my Abrams. There goes my buddy Abrams. That's not good. That was a T-72BM. It just... Yep. That is not good. Okay, well, we're capturing back the middle. 
Look at the ammo cook-off on this Abrams over here, though. My god. Very, very brutal looking. Okay, well, we have the middle. I'm not even... There's no point in me trying to take cover. Uh, this M60 can go out there and go get itself blown up for all I care. With the right hill covered, that's what matters. We have our squad of National Guard. Heroic Assault Troops of America, apparently. Uh, charging the right. We have enemies recapturing this left. That's all right. Uh, actually, we lost a Bradley. The BM knocked out my Bradley's, uh, my buddy Bradley as well. Okay, middle is now no longer, well, it's still occupied by us. Actually, they've lost this one flag. So they only hold one currently. This one's about to be captured, but they only hold one flag at the, as of this correct moment. Mortar carrier. I'm thinking the mortar carrier might actually not be a super bad idea. Let's try to figure out 81 mortar, 107 mortar. This is the 109, 155. This is the Paladin. Maybe we can get a howitzer. And then we'll use the howitzer to spam them to death. Although we could get this M240. Get on the ridge over here and help cover the point. National Guard doing an absolute amazing job holding the line as well as they can. But that's fine. I just have to hold the point. That's all I care for. Oh, another ASU 85. Yes, sir. Wait, did I buy this squad? Did I buy a squad? Am I stupid? Did I just miss? Did I remember buying a squad? I mean, it's very possible, to be honest with you. We'll put them behind. Oh, they knocked out the ASU. That's good. Every tank we knock out is one less for them. And then we could get this M109. I don't think we're going to save up enough points for the Paladin. What's the real difference between them anyway? Is there a difference in the gun? Okay, barely. It just looks like it has more range. But we can hopefully use the Paladin, as in the M109, to set up behind here and start hitting some of their armor into town. Because I think this one is still alive, isn't it? It looks like it is, even though it's not marked on the map as of right now. Let's see what the ammo. Okay, only HE. Can we move him up? Oh, we have a T-72-1989. That looks really cool, but also really freaking deadly. It's hitting my buddy's patent right now. Loading AP. This patent's probably going to be blown up here. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Taking everyone for a freaking walk. I just destroyed that after that V-150 that wasn't already destroyed, apparently. I wonder what the range is in this. 220, okay. Well, that might have been a good reason to buy the other artillery, because it has more range. But if we drive it out of here, it wouldn't be a huge issue. We'll send a couple infantry here to this flank to hold it better. Machine gun. There we go. Look at the 240. Going ham. Patton and the 240 both get win ham there. That was great. Okay, let's see if we can engage that tank. And it's a 155 millimeter gun, right? Like, you'd think it would do a very large amount of damage if it was a direct hit or a very near direct hit. That's even thing to say but like if it if it hits close to it you'd assume it would defeat it okay we're gonna have to call in infantry here okay our patent knocked out the norov but then our their t 289 this one knocked okay but we're tracking it at least so that's good they're shot out okay we're just gonna keep targeting this thing that's fine Okay, we're going to have to capture the middle again. Currently, it's just... it's Currently, it's... Oh, that was a big shot. Currently, it's 3-3. Three to three. No, I've, this, oh, everyone died so fast. Absolutely brutal. I mean, machine gun is like a one-hit kill in this. Wonder... Oh, no, really? The Rise Patton knocked it out? This guy? No. Who knocked it out? 
he did? Wow, what an absolute mad lad. Okay. That's actually pretty heroic. Thing is, we're going to need more infantry. So, I mean, at this point, cheaper infantry makes more sense to me just because they're, you know, just there to be thrown away, kind of. What do we have here? 20 mil, 90 mil, 76 mil. 20 mil V150, as well as a National Guard unit. You'll draw below, your job will be to capture the point. Oops, squad of infantry. They're, they're grew, so they have oh, AN94s, and they got those Alton helmets, I see. But they're getting mostly mowed down by just very shitty infantry. If it comes to 20 mil, oh hell yeah, buddy. Look at this. Okay, shoot at something. Look at that. No, shoot it. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, where's my infantry? Brave National Guard. You've been promoted to... I don't know, actually, if National Guard would be promoted to anything, but they've been promoted by now, by me, to be uh, flag capturers. Our, our team is also capturing the right side. So i got to say, uh, in these games versus AI, I have had no luck so far. I've only been bullied to death. Uh, I lost the French-German one. Spoiler for that video. I lost that battle very closely. It was like 120 points to 116 points. So I lost that basically on, well, nothing. It was a very, very close game. Ooh, is T-80U back here? Oh no, that's gonna knock out, yep. <laughs> I figured I should have moved it, but yes, wasn't sir. there in time. But I lost that game just on the skin of my teeth. Uh, well, they beat us on it, I guess. And then I lost the Italian-German-North Africa game pretty bad. Um, that was uh, kind of brutal, honestly. The Italians just don't have anything really good, and then my AI just wasn't able to contend with the uh, opponents enough. So, not really sure. Is that an enemy right there next to me? Do I have to be scared here? I think that might be an enemy next to my M109. Artillery is firing. It's gonna hit anything? What is it hitting? Is it hitting anything at all? I never saw it come down. What's that? A T-72 with those little fins on the side again? I think those might be, like, to stop ATGMs. But I feel like they wouldn't really stop it. I don't know. Maybe someone could tell me about that, because I'd be interested to learn about those things, because they don't look like they would stop anything. Okay, let's pull the 109 back. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta pull a win out of this someday, right? Like, I've been having no luck with these games. Just been absolutely getting <coughs> devastated by the AI. Um, so I'm hoping that in this game we can, you know, reign victorious. But I wonder... Uh, we need some more tank crew. Oh, M202 Napalm Infantry? Oh, boy. Okay, let's get this uh, tank crew on this machine gun again. What is this thing? Oh, it's the C... Oh, God, that's what sounded so awesome. It sounded like... Brrrt, brrrt. I like how the barrel's still spinning. I guess they're keeping it spinning right now to try and engage something with it. It's gonna stick with this just for a second. Maybe you'd see some infantry again. Although we gotta take out this enemy tank. Gotta load AP for that. It'd be a great kill, honestly, if we knocked out another enemy tank. Okay, it sounds awesome. These CSs with the, the Vulcans, I think, are those. Oh, they knocked out the CS right next to my Abrams. The turret, like, fell onto my lap. Oh, we knocked it out. We got it. That was a perfect shot. Okay, that was great, honestly. Our infantry on the left side, brave allies are pushing hard. Hold in the middle. They took out that CS again. That's the T-80 in the background doing that. That's a lot of people coming our way. I got to target this position right here. Incoming. Okay, that was relatively all right. I mean, a lot of infantry over here. That's a better shot. That did, did get a bunch of them there. Last shot coming out. Oh, that last shot. I lied. I need an ammo truck here soon for my... Uh, where is the ammo truck? Is it these things? Yes, it is. Okay, thank God. Okay, pull you back. I said pull you back. It's probably like a five or six shot freaking salvo. I knocked out a few infantry there. That was kind of worth it. Truck, get one of your guys out. That's very fast. Let's get him out and just you become a uh, sort of defense crew now. And then, okay, machine gunner. You're holding fine, you're holding the line. 
Was that a freaking ATGM coming out? What is? What was that? Oh, it was! Oh, look, it's the ITV with the twin ATGM launcher on the roof. It knocked out an entire squad of Gru. I'm hoping you can knock out this CADU, though, in the background, because that thing is going to be really scary. We have another CS here. So not a lot of armor coming out from my allies besides, well, I mean, this ITV, I wouldn't really classify it as armor. I forgot I have these napalm infantry back here, right? This is uh, going to be great. Oh, okay, we have no extra rockets on this guy, but we do have the napalm launcher, which is super hype. So we'll send him forward and push him onto the town. That was another ATGM coming out from the ITV. Who, by the way, looks to be smoking, so maybe he looks like it also got tracked, so it probably is tracked and engine damaged. Okay, we'll uh, send my, I guess, support launcher infantry up forward. And then we'll get my napalm guy to take out his launcher. Hold fire. Push him up. And we'll spam it at something. It'll be glorious. This is basically like the sort of Russians have, or the Soviets have the thing called the Schmel, which is like a napalm rocket launcher. But this is the American equivalent of it, I believe. But obviously it has multiple tubes, so you can fire in quick succession. Okay, so it just set stuff on fire. Or maybe not. Okay, we get four shots and a reload of four. No, no fire didn't really seem to be doing so much. I'm hoping we can just push him around on the flank of that TADU. If we could do that, that would be hilarious. If we can kind of roll up here. Man, I'm really missing the uh, gates of hell, direct commu not communication, direct uh, control right now. Because it's a little bit more intuitive to do infantry. I mean, tanks um, is alright, but it's a little bit more intuitive to use this uh, in gates of hell to be an infantryman versus, uh, uh, you know, in men of war for sure. What's that? What is that? Sprint, 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 sprint. Oh, you made it. No, I wanted to shoot. That was such an adventure to shoot this thing and it all came and it failed. That's so sad. Okay, can I turn on the supply? I mean, this should be... Is it not? Oh. There you go. Now you're going to get supplied, right? Isn't that what you need? Maybe it's too much? Maybe maybe this thing needs more... Maybe it needs to spend more ammo before it gets resupplied. I think the enemy may have been running low on points. We could get this 90mm V150 and go for a sort of meme approach over here. What is it? Number 4? Okay, go, go, go. I love the speed of these things. I always really bothered me how in Assault Squad 2 the speed of things always looked like it would be super fast and then you brought it out and it was just like really slow and finicky. This thing is super fast, so we're gonna just have to run over the water and the ice, which no one really seems to care about anymore. Drive around. It looks like the AI may be out of points to spawn in infantry. I haven't seen any in a while. I mean, honestly, if we give them a death blow here with this little drive-by we're doing. One. I mean, the 90 mil is... I don't know what kind of 90 mil this would be. I don't really know anything about... Oh, that was a horrible shot. I don't know much about American 90 mils. It says it's a cockerel, so is it a British gun? What is this bullying? Wow. I think... I think what's going to happen here is we are going to win because the enemy isn't able to spawn anything down. I don't see them spawning anything down. They may have spent all of their... Oh, no, that's a, that's a lighter. There's an entire squad right here. Oh, God. They may have spent the majority of their points, though, earlier on. And now we're just bullying the AI. I guess we can try and get out of here. Uh, we'll send this National Guard squad up to capture this flag. There needs to be, like, a total domination thing where if you have all flags for, like, two minutes or something, you win. That should be a thing for sure. Okay, that's good. Guy can't really do anything to me. Reload HE and yeet, but that was not even a kill. National Guard almost here. But yeah, we've captured all the flags in just a second. This National Guard squad will finish up the last part of this cap. And then this will just be kind of bullying.
Okay, reload that. And I gotta say, I'm surprised that we managed to win. I, the Abrams... Oh, what the hell happened there? Are we gonna sink? No? Okay, weird. It just did like a weird sort of delayed... Oh! <gasps> oh my god. That was hilarious. Okay, uh, that worked out. Let's not ask any questions. But yeah, we're capturing. Looks like this might be a total victory for America. The Soviets had that early push where they did a lot of damage to us and they got a lot of points earlier on. But then we just kind of bullied them back. And I don't think they're going to be able to come back from this. So... I'm obviously not very familiar with some of these mods. Some of them, the AI may work better than others. But it looks like this one, we are definitely going to be able to call a win for America. Which is good for me because I was starting to get really uh, demoralized with all the losses playing these like custom little, you know, scenarios. Scenarios, I don't know what you want to call it. Oh, well, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. Or come on, tank crew. Survive. Oh, no, you got flanked. Okay, there's a lot of stuff happening around here. Can we artillery this position? And three, two, one. Love that. Okay, that was not very close. Well, it's close-ish. Yeah, we have won this game. I guess we can run it out. Uh, we can kill some more enemy infantry. I don't know if we have any cool units we could call in. That 20 mil was actually pretty successful earlier. Uh, we have uh, not enough CP for anything else. Because we're kind of low on the CP and manpower, actually, both. I would love to call in the helicopter, but that would be... That's a little while from now. We're actually getting barely any CP anymore. We're only getting a little bit. That's probably what happened to my AI. So, I think that when the thing hits uh, the 125, obviously we have won. Um, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments section. Um, whether it's Valor Cold War or a different mod, uh, the Great War mod, or Rob's, or Valor mod, you know, regular Valor mod, uh, so not the Cold War one. I guess let me know. This was honestly pretty enjoyable. It was a little sweaty. They're trying to keep my, my stuff alive, but I really feel like my Abrams and some of my allies uh, pulled it through. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed and love to see you in the next one. Cheers.